It might come as a surprise to many that T-55 tanks are still being sold around the world, which is really strange since the tank is largely obsolete today. But it is not really obsolete to everyone. So who bought T-55 tanks and why? In 2019 there were talks that Pakistan could be purchasing T-55N tanks from Serbia, and it appears that that is actually the case, since pictures of T-55N tanks in Pakistan surfaced on the internet. According to a report, 100 tanks have been delivered so far, and 282 tanks should be delivered in total. So why did Pakistan buy these tanks? Well, Pakistan, on top of having their regular army with more modern tanks, have border guards units located on the border with Afghanistan for counterinsurgency operations, and for a while now, those units have been mainly operating old Chinese Type 69 tanks, which are basically slightly improved T-55s with 105mm guns. These units are not meant to fight armies, but terrorists armed with RPGs. Well, now you could say they have armored vehicles, since you know what happened. Now, they want to replace their Type 69s with the Serbian T-55Ns. But what is so special about those tanks? Well, they aren't really just simple T-55s. The main difference you should notice is the presence of explosive reactive armor on the tank. You might think it's the famous Contact 1, but it's not. It is the Serbian domestically made M99 explosive reactive armor. The main difference when compared to Contact 1, when we look at the cross-section, is that M99 apparently has only one explosive panel inside the block, while Contact 1 has two. This does not mean that it is inferior, though. According to the manufacturer, the ERA can reduce the penetration of heat ammunition up to 80%, but the information given states that it largely depends on the impact angle and what hit it. The lowest given value is 30% against artillery-fired heat. This means that RPGs most likely can't penetrate the armor of T-55N, since most common RPG rockets in those areas are PG-7V, and PG-7VL with 400-500mm of penetration. One good thing about this ERA is that, according to the manufacturer, chain detonation does not occur, which is one of the problems of the old Contact 1. The tanks have also been upgraded with the new fire control system, which is miles ahead of standard T-55 stuff. If you look closely, you will see that the tank has now the main gun sight on top of the turret, like most of the modern main battle tanks unlike standard T-55s, which have the sight next to the main gun. The main gun sight is based on the DNNS-2 from M84 tank. This means that the sight provides automatic lead, which gives gunner the ability to easily shoot at moving targets, as well as an integrated night vision channel, unlike all T-55s, which have separate day and night channels. Having that sight also means that the tank has a laser rangefinder, which is much better than what T-55 had, and that is just drawn lines in the crosshair of the main gun sight. The tank also has a meteorological sensor. All of this combined ensures that the tank can shoot further and with much better accuracy. Now, unlike modern tanks, the tank does actually lack thermals, but when compared to Type 69, it's miles ahead. The communication equipment has of course also been upgraded. With all the improvements, it seems to be a decent tank for its intended role. The contract of 282 tanks is said to have been valued at $74 million. That puts the price of one tank at around $260,000. If you ask me, that's a pretty good deal. I mean, would you rather buy a Lambo or a modernized T-55 tank? I'd pick a tank, I don't know about you. That would be all, if you like my content you can support me on Patreon, leave a like or sub to the channel if you're new. Thanks for watching and I'll see you all in the next video. Have a nice day.